into here. You can get the caulking out. and prime or patch and paint so this is from dap it is patch and paint one step fast drying no sanding won't shrink so just throw some of this on some of the holes just to close them up a little bit and then we're gonna off to the paint geometric gray and white pattern so it should look close to that but I'm not putting it on my floor I'm actually gonna put it as my backsplash so even though it says no grout no special tools required I am going to be using some heavy-duty glue of some sort so that way they stick up on the wall and they don't fall off but these are great for anytime you want to change your flooring out and stick, lifetime warranty, water resistant, easy to clean, great for cute little bathroom remodels or anything that you just want to spice up. These were actually priced not bad, so for 10 tiles, which are 12 by 12, so a square foot each, um, this whole package 
was $10. So I got five of them, which came out to a little over $50, including the tax. So they're really cheap, easy to do, and I'll show you how they work later on. All right, guys, so I have my shelving cabinetry up. I have officially cut my shelves that I'm going to put in between, and I am now going to add my backsplash, which is the floor pop, and it's like a peel and stick backsplash, so I'm excited. Looks like it's gonna fit, so perfect, we'll put those on. So I'm using the finishing nails. These are 16 gauge, quantity thousand, length, uh, inch and a quarter. So yeah, galvanized finishing nails. And they're just like little teeny tiny nails. I don't know if you can see that. So they don't have a point on the end, you just need a little hammer. Um, since mine has a design on it, I'm putting it in the design. That way it's less noticeable and you just hammer away. All right, so since these are floor tiles, like I previously said, they have that stickiness that's great for floors. But when you're trying to put it on a horizontal, not horizontal, vertical, wall they don't like to stay so what I'm doing to reinforce it on top of the finished nails is I am using uh, E6000 it's just an extra adhesive I'm just outlining the corners all the way across going around just to give it an extra oomph and then I'm still placing my finished nails on my pattern. So that way they're nice and sturdy, they're not gonna fall off, they're not gonna like look. So, E6000, finished nails, looks good. It's 
adorable. It was 50% off for wall hanging objects. So let's see, Hobby Lobby. So I got it for $15. And it's so cute. It's gonna look great in this room once it's done. All right, guys. So I finally got my laundry room done and I'm ready to show you. So here is my final laundry room. I think it turned out really good. I uh, love it. It has a really nice flair of kind of farmhouse, but modern. I got these really cute handles from um, online. Yeah, Amazon, of course. The boxes are actually from Big Lots. They were on clearance for, I think, $10 each. We got Big Lots, are these? Um, Hobby Lobby. And then up there, we also got that from Hobby Lobby. So overall, I think I only spent probably around two to three hundred dollars. The backsplash was only 50 bucks. The buckets were 30 bucks. The shelves were uh, like 40 total. The cabinetry for both of them was $50. And then the little knickknacks were like 10, 15, things like that. So I really hope you enjoyed my uh, laundry room makeover and look forward to seeing more of my work. Like and subscribe. Thanks guys. See you next time.